So, the pro-diseased cult out there is still trying to find a link between vaccines and autism. They have been unable to do that. There is actually no evidence out there that shows any such link. Of course, there's a shitload of evidence that shows absolutely no link at all. Um, currently, there is a study going on, uh, underway, where 23 million people are being surveyed and... Um, examined, their data collected, and trying to show if there is a link between the people who have been vaccinated and the people who have not been vaccinated, and autism rate between the two. Uh, one of the largest studies already published had 14,700,000 people participating. Guess what? The rate of people who have been vaccinated and are autistic equals the rate of autism among people who have not been vaccinated. Approximately 1.1%. You know what that means. While the parents innocently slept, Big Pharma crept into the baby's room, hunched over the cribs, and vaccinated the little darlings. I cannot think of any other reason why the unvaccinated group matched autistic rate with the vaccinated group. So, of course, uh, for several months I have been roaming the blogosphere, the social media sphere, trying to understand why these evil, vile pieces of shit are trying to talk people out of getting vaccinated and dying in screaming horrible agony. I came across a video laying down here in my crotch. <clears throat> and of course I posted, you know, the facts. I got a reply back from someone who calls himself or herself Maxwell Smart. Ugh. Quote, Desert File, you broke the rules by posting this comment! Exclamation point. Read the rules in the description, period. Shame on you! Exclamation point. End of quote. Because I published a quote, and the conclusions from the most recent study on the subject, which showed absolutely no link between vaccines and autism. Shame on me. So what did this video's description, I mean, rules, say? Let's take a look. Quoting in part, I will not allow anyone to come here and tell me that my daughter was born with autism. She wasn't! Exclamation point. I will not allow any comments that say vaccines don't cause autism like symptoms they do! Exclamation point. How does one... Never mind. I was going to ask, but there is no excuse, there is no explanation. These people desperately need to believe that vaccines cause autism. Why is that? You might have known that the person, the most recent person, Andrew Wakefield, was paid almost $700,000, United States dollars, to fabricate a link between autism and vaccines. He was paid by a lawyer to do that. The lawyer was mitigating a class action lawsuit against uh, pharmacists or uh, the pharmaceutical industry, and he needed evidence to show that vaccines cause neurological disorders. Couldn't find it, so he paid Andrew Wakefield to fabricate some. Funny thing, but documents show that Andrew Wakefield actually found a syndrome 
caused by autism or caused by vaccines. Before he did the, quote, study, he actually named the syndrome before he even ran any kind of study to find such a syndrome. He also patented it. He also patented a vaccine uh, schedule that would have profited if a link had been found. No such links found anywhere. <sighs> this will not stop the pro-death, pro-disease cult from insisting vaccines cause uh, autism. They don't. No evidence. 